This year's winter has been particularly cold and yet unusually lacking of snow. Often in February, our little village is covered in a snowy veil for a couple of weeks, but not this time. The temperatures, however, still plummeted and, as always, it has been a constant battle to keep the fireplace well stocked. In the winter months, I tend to slow down in my everyday pace. I find that everyone tends to withdraw into their own shells in this time of year. I am by nature very social, but in the middle of the winter, I like taking some time alone to work on myself and my projects. It is a sort of hibernation in which men recharge their batteries and prepare for the social hangouts of the warmer seasons. And while I enjoy the peacefulness of the winter mornings, the slow rhythm of the nature gently being nudged awake, and the coziness of the fireplace. Part of me cannot wait for the sunnier days and summer barbecues. But in the meantime, I make sure to enjoy every second of peeling the verbane leaves of the branches with my grandmother and restocking our herbal tea supplies. Hello. We are now in February um, and right now there's a bit of sunshine which is nice because it's actually been rather cold lately. Usually around January and February there's quite a bit of snow in Greece. This year however it seems like it didn't snow that much. There was a little bit of snow that fell right on top of the village um, but it didn't reach us. And it seems like this year the spring has actually started a bit sooner than expected. It is still quite cold, like it is around one degree Celsius, but you can see that there is already a shift towards spring in that there are many caterpillars in the trees and as you can hear there are actually quite a lot of birds around here. Um, usually January and February are very still months where nothing really happens, nothing moves and you can hear absolute silence. But this year it's a bit different. Lately the jackals have been coming up to our terrace, very close to us, and yapping at night, which is the closest they've ever come. The other day I almost got a glimpse of them. Had it been a bit more light, I would have seen them. I was actually out filming a night time lapse when I heard them right next to me. And they're getting closer and closer and I absolutely love that. I love that this house is in between the mountain and the village so it's still like the middle ground between human territory and the wild. Um, and I find that fascinating. We often see jackals when we go up and down the mountain when you're in the car you can see them crossing the streets uh, but it's always so fast that I never have time to grab the camera. Anyway, I'll go check the trees we planted last with Soto, see how they're doing, probably water them a bit and then I'll probably go on a small walk, see if we can find any footprints. Anyway. <laughs> As my mother likes to point out, trees should be loved and taken care of as much as pets. So while this field is self-sufficient when it comes to water, the younger trees we planted in January could always benefit from a quick watering session. 
especially after such a dry winter. and they might follow me <sighs> they're actually very sweet dogs but as you can see Dede is extremely filthy she really needs to be taken care of but they're very sweet anyway this is a neighborhood around our house with all the friendly neighbors and this is the way I'm going so trying to find jackal footsteps. The dead Rosa are still following me, but I think they're gonna soon lose interest. Where are you going, Rosa? Phyllis, like she's up there. You don't wanna come with me. Apparently they do. It's gonna be hard to find footprints if they follow me, because they're gonna step all over the place, but... There are a few footprints, but it's unclear if it's dogs or not. Although dogs don't usually come that far. Obviously right now this is a bad example of them following me, but no one really comes here anymore because they're afraid of the boars and the dogs don't get that far because they are afraid of the jackals. Running really does make you appreciate the cold. Oh. So we're in the backside of the mountain where the village is. Uh, and this is where most of the villagers have their fields. And usually, from what I gather, the jackals really like to hang out where there is agriculture because they really like to eat the fruits when they fall, even if they're rotten. So this is usually where the jackals would be and then they would make their way up to the village next to our house probably because there were still some carcasses and bones left right and left uh, from all the food that the villagers give the dogs and the dogs there's so many that just go and hide stuff everywhere so this is what attracts the jackals so all the road we just took is basically the direct road from the fields to the village this is probably where they come from each night so tonight i'm gonna stay out and I'm going to try to see if I can hear them in our backyard and hopefully catch a glimpse of them. I might even leave them some food out to attract them. I don't even need, I don't think I even need to do that because objectively they're there anyway every night. But I think I'm going to head back now. Time for lunch. <laughs>
So today's mission is actually to drive up with a car, go up that hill where we can hear most of the jackals and try and find them. Or at least try and record the sound as clearly as possible and hopefully we'll be able to see them. We won't approach them because they're wild creatures and we don't want to disturb them. But overall, we're going to get as close as we can. So here we go. And right now we are preparing some warm tea to take with and some hot water bottles because it's going to be quite cold. It's either jackal footsteps or maybe it's just a fox. It's unclear, but there seem to be at least three of them and usually if it's more than one, it's usually jackals. Do this here as well. Yeah, there's definitely jackals coming by. After a couple hours of waiting, it became clear that this wasn't going to be the night we would record the best jackal holes. So we went back home and decided I would try again the next evening, but this time I would just stay in our backyard. Good morning everyone. So I started gathering the oranges yesterday, but then we had to leave because we had to go look for the jackals. So I'm going to finish harvesting them today and then I'm going to make marmalade. These oranges are bitter, which is why we have to let them sit in water for 24 hours. And after that, you basically make marmalade with them. You can't really eat them as is. Uh, it's called Nerazia. So it's basically a bitter variety of oranges. It's wild oranges. Um, and we can make a lot of sweets with them, but they need sugar to be eaten because they're way too bitter otherwise. So now I'm just gonna cut them, slice them, put them in a jar, fill them with water and tomorrow we're going to start making marmalade. This is live in the village, so we have our upstairs neighbor who's very nice talking right here talking to the neighbor up there which is actually quite loud so right now while i'm still cutting the bitter oranges i'm going to take a small sweet orange break and enjoy the sunshine while it lasts very juicy oranges
Since November, we have come to the unpleasant realization that our cat Susie must have passed away. Usually, she would always show up one or two days after our arrival and hang out all day on the perch of our living room window. But this time, she didn't come. This is the sad reality of taking care of strays, especially in a village where there are many natural enemies of cats, such as jackals or dogs. The likelihood of them living a long life is extremely small. Hi. So this is the perfect time for the jackals. This is when we can hear them mostly, when the sun has barely just set. As you can hear, they're approaching slowly. Right now they seem to be quite deep in the valley, but even with the last few yappings, you can hear they're getting closer and closer, which is amazing. morning so we ended up cutting the rest of the oranges yesterday as you can see there's a lot more in there it's been soaking in water for 24 hours and now I'm gonna go change the water and later today I'm gonna make the jam just waiting for the jam to cook and when it's cooked I'm gonna seal them into jars and we're gonna have breakfast with them tomorrow so I'm actually thinking should I make some bread
marmalade from yesterday. We're waiting for the bread to bake and let him have breakfast. See you next time.